Starting with the Jurnan Temple, Thousand Steps Hills Trail, we begin the ascent of the thousands of steps. The abundance of cats indicates that we are entering Mao Kong District. The Chernan Temple Complex has some pretty impressive temples with some beautiful lanterns on display. This is the most cultural section of the trail. In tonight's cooler weather, we meet a toad and, of course, cats around the temple. There are other creatures that call this area home, but it's a cooler night in late November. At Junan Temple Gondola Station, a giant gingerbread man gives the area a winter festive season feel. <laughs> All right, we've made it to the marker for the Taipei Grand Hike. So let's keep going and hopefully find some animals. We descend down a steep forest trail, where we will soon enter some better habitat. But only after a quick selfie with Mao some Kong. cats. Mao Kong. The trail is rough, but no wet paint. The forest life quickly starts to appear. A small green tree viper. And then a beautiful emerald green tree frog. We finally found one on the Grand Hike. Taiwan's largest and arguably most beautiful tree frog. But what we really want to find tonight is the Taipei green tree frog. Winter is their breeding season, so I hope to hear some before too long. Down beside the small waterfall, a beautiful green swinhose frog. And I slip over and hurt my butt. We take a short detour down to the famous pothole where there are some cute little cats and a cute little bridge. Down below are the famous potholes caused by swirling currents. I'm told it used to be Zhou Kong in the Taiwanese Hokkien language, then later translated into Mandarin as Mao Kong, which roughly means cat space or cat hole, something about cats. Please let me know in the comments if you know more about this. Anyway, supposedly that's where Mao Kong derives his name. And right as we're checking out these potholes, we almost bump into this. Another green tree viper. We soon ascend back up and connect with the main road through Mao Kong. Three of our party depart for home at this point. While the rest of us continue on through the tea plantations, past tea houses, and of course more green tree vipers. <laughs> then, above the tea plantation, we finally hear them. Taipei green tree frogs. After a short scramble up off the road and into an old cemetery, we follow the frogs call from tomb to tomb. The males will hide in small holes or depressions while calling for the female. And it seems there's one under this old tarpaulin. Here it is, a male Taipei green tree frog. So we've got a little Taipei green tree frog here. Um, we could hear them croaking from down on the road, so we walked up this old cemetery, and sure enough, we found one. So these are, this time of year is their breeding season, so, whoop. so they've just started breeding, starting usually November through to about February. That's one of the reasons we've delayed this section of the trail until this time of year was the hope to see some of these guys, seeing as they are the... Taipei Shua, Taipei Tree Frog on the Taipei Grand Trail. These frogs are able to change color from dark brown through to bright green, a process known as metacrosis. They really are the jewel of Taipei. From here, it's on past the Mao Kong cable car station, past more cats, 
then begin the descent back down towards the university. And here's another buffalo lurking in the dark. We pause briefly for another trail marker. More tea. More creatures. Including this impressive spider. Hanging out with a stick insect. Someone thought they spotted a Formosan wolf snake. The only of Taiwan's top 10 common snakes that we haven't seen on the Grand Trail adventure. But it was just another many banded crate rushing off into the bushes. We get a quick look at a pair of flying squirrels building a nest. Then a final farewell from yet another green tree viper. And here we are. And for some reason, the local government neglected to remove this wall since the end of the COVID restrictions several months ago. Wild buffalo, cobras, typhoons. And this is probably the most dangerous part of the whole 92 kilometers. And here we are at the end of stage seven of the Taipei Grand Hike, and in fact, the end of the entire Taipei Grand Hike. So we did it. Yeah. Yay. So yeah, go home. <laughs> Done. It's over. It's finished. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment on what adventure you think we should undertake next.